greetings YouTubers. Sorry, I had to see if you were on there. I wasn't sure whether or not you were or no you weren't. I, I, I thought that you might not want to join me. Shall I start again? Greetings YouTubers. Welcome aboard. My journeys and trials and tribulations of Big Jim in his London Taxi International TX2 on a 2003 plate with 287,000 miles on the clock, silver model and counting mileage. A very, very good morning to you. Um, it's only just morning, 25 past 11. It's the 3rd of, yeah, the 3rd of January. So we're well into the 2020 now. I thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, first thing I talk about is Poppy. Um, since I topped the oil up with Poppy, in Poppy, sorry, uh, you'll remember the uh, the gearbox oil. No problems whatsoever, no vibration, no noise. Probably just a little bit of a whiny thing if I was really being critical, but I'm not, it's an old girl. You can hear her now, she's running really, really smooth. There's no undue whir, whir, whirring noise. In fact, I came out this morning and the first thing I'd done, now it's me in a left-hand bend now, but it never was a, a whine on the left, so that's the left. Right hand's coming up a bit further down, I'll let you know. <coughs> um, I got up this morning, just jumped in the car, it's like I said, 25 past 11 in the morning, in Poppy, don't call her a car, uh, jumped in Poppy, first thing I thought was, check the oils Jim, so I've regiment, I've checked all the fluids in all the vehicle, and she's absolutely fine, that pint and a quarter, sorry, litre and a half, pint and a quarter, that litre and a half that I put in uh, the other day, you'll remember, on a previous vlog, um, it's still in there. Mind you, I haven't really done any mileage on her. Um, this is the first day, gang. I know I'm sounding a bit Barry White here, but there's no sore throat or nothing. This is the first day that I've been able to get out, so Poppy's really been sitting there doing nothing over since Christmas Day was the last time she was used really apart from going to the shop a couple of times excuse the flare again I'm really gonna have to move you know we can't keep having this I mean the professionals don't have this with flare they've probably got some sort of filterization that they can put on not so much with me so anyway um, no noise at all from Poppy she's absolutely running lovely lovely and smooth not losing any fluids so let's just see how we go there with Poppy um, I've got no real major work to do with her. I gave her a clean the other day. Now, the reason I got up this morning and checked all the oils, because I got a WhatsApp the other day uh, from someone that's uh, very dear to me. And uh, she said to me, I think I've got some problem. There's no power in my car. And she drives a, uh, a Citroen Cactus. It's a nice little car. I, I nickname it the plastic car. It is the plastic car. But it's a good car. So she said to me, I've got no power. So I said, right, done a few various checks. This is really over the sort of phone. So what we decided in the end, We'll get it down to the dealership. Um, actually, she called the AA out first. AA came out, and when they came out, they found a, um, a hose, a turbo hose was loose. So they tightened the turbo hose up, but unfortunately, that didn't cure the, the problem. Um, it's unusual for those hoses to go off because they come off because they're crimped. The only time they'd probably do it is if the pressure was up that much. So this, there was a reason, and, and, and I suspected the possibility of a turbo fault. I thought there's a, there's a problem with the turbo. Definite problem with the turbo. Anyway, 
it ends up that there is a problem with the turbo. And um, what was the cause of it? I mean, the crunch of the matter, the bottom line is lack of oil. She checked the oil in September, or no, October, and now we're into, just into January. She went down to visit her brother. Quite a long journey. Oil's low, turbo's up nice and high. And you know those turbos spin at a million mile an hour. Run out of oil. Couldn't put any oil up onto the bearings of the turbo and that nafta turbo. Now this has got a turbo on it as well. The difference between the two cars is the Citroen is a fairly new car and it the tolerances on those cars, I mean they have to be spot on and perfect. I mean this this whole thing will run on this whole thing will run on fish and chip fat oil. You know the the engine is so worn that it'll you know, it slaps and flaps and so there's nothing that way wrong but it just goes to show you what can happen if you neglect, as I did with Poppy, the um, gearbox oil, as she did her engine oil. So this is my New Year's Eve tip for the day, gang. After you've finished listening to my Barry White low dulcet tone voice, what I want you to do is go out into your, doesn't have to be a taxi, go out into your cars, go out into your vehicles, wherever they may be, lift the bonnet, and do a fluid check today. You might not have done it for a while, just do yourself a big favor. After you've listened to me, it's a nice day, well it is in the UK, just get out there, lift the bonnet, and do a simple fluid check. Check all your oils, check your water, power steer fluids, automatic gearbox oil fluids, if you've got an automatic, power steering fluids, water, and even your windscreen washers. So just give it a go today I'm not I know I'm preaching to the obvious but you know it's little things like this that we miss out on until it's too late and unfortunately for her it's worked out a very very costly emission um, by not checking so <laughs> Hence why I came out today and just and just done a check just just to cover myself just to see if there was an issue, you know. Um, silly little things, you know, like that. We all tend to forget, and if you forget them, and you forget them too much, if you forget them, they could end up coming back and biting you in the wallet. So that's my tip of the day, gang. That's my little tip of the day for today. Well, not a lot happening today. Uh, my officially, I'm back to work on Monday. I feel cheated. Because I've been so racked up with this cold and flu. <coughs> that I'm going back to work. And I've really missed the whole of this Christmas and New Year. I've gone absolutely nowhere. Now this is still now, it's actually now a head, in a head cold now. And it's really banging at my head, which is putting pressure again on my eyes. I can feel my eyes playing up a little bit. So, I don't know, I'm gonna see what happens for, uh, before I go back into work on Monday. And if I don't feel up to it, gang, then I'm not going back, it's as simple as that. I've never been Polax like this for seven or eight days. Not, not for six, never had this. I had the flu before, but never, not. whatever I picked up and whoever spread it to me, I'm telling you, God knows what it was. Genga fever, I reckon. But anyway, that's behind us all. 
and we're on the move forward. Now, let's talk a bit about London Taxi International. Um, sorry, London Vintage Taxi Association. As you know, I'm a member of that. I've not had a chance this last year to go out on any, they have like jollies where they sort of go to vintage car rallies and that and because you're a member of it you you park up you shine your vehicle and you sort of get a free ticket to get in you and one of your passengers and then you just put a little board up or whatever you want to do about your car and have a look around so I'm hoping to get a couple of those in this year Poppy is up for it she does look sweet I must admit and she's about the cleanest TX two that I think I've seen um, but I've not seen them all obviously but uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing that this year and they always fall on the weekend so that'll be nice um, apart from that everything else is going relatively smoothly I'm just fingers crossing myself that this is now going to just disappear in sort of gone from the chest and the rest of the body and, and it's now gone up to the head and I'm hoping it's going to leave the head and leave me with a little bit of normality back to life um, because I've done nothing since Christmas Eve absolutely nothing and that really sort of miffed me because I had so much to do so many people to see and had to sort of had to turn them all down and that was really disappointing so from Big Jim's sake it's the quietest New Year and Christmas that I can ever remember having in my life and it's one that I don't want to re replicate gang uh, but what can you do? What can you do to fight these, these lurgies off? What can you do? Um, had also in the last vlog, apart from a load of lovely wishes from all you people that have subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, because we are on the way to over 100 now. Let's see if we can really grow. Um, I think his name was Richard. Again, I'm terrible for names and I should have wrote it down. But uh, he had a, and I, the word is had, past tense. He had a TX. And short time, obviously, before Christmas, uh, he got written off uh, by a skip lorry, as he explained. It's all in the vlog and the previous ones. And so he's... Uh, walked away from the dark side but he does say that he's going to listen to to this and hopefully mate if you're uh, you know you come back to us soon and pick yourself up another one and uh, get some normality back in your life it must have been a whack by a skip lorry to write one of these off I can tell you because these are solid old beasts but there again I suppose the value of them uh, the loss adjuster's come out, take one look at it, you know, anything that needs painting now is just, uh, it's not worth taking the risk, they just write them off. So uh, yeah, I think he's Richard, I'm pretty sure it is, so you come back to us mate, just as soon as you can. Uh, we need, we, we need, we need more people, we need the gang. God, this, this sun is really low in the sky flaring away there we go alright guys well look I've got nothing else to say my voice is croaky but I'm okay I'm surviving I will say a very very happy new year to you all out there enjoy 2020 it's very early into it and I hope all your aspirations and wishes and health are all on the positive. Until next time, guy from Big Jim, LTI, London Taxi International 2003.
with 287,000 miles on the clock and counting. I'll catch up with you all very soon. Cheers, guys.